welcome uh, we have posted one question paper on 4th july 2023 uh, if you want link of that question paper then it is also provided in this uh, video's description you are aware that description is written just uh, below this video so their link is also there and for your reference i am posting out this part of paper also so uh, we can go through that paper also so here uh, we are carrying out analysis of the paper i am posting out answer key separately okay if you are interested in only answer key then answer key is posted separately that will be in the form of short uh, on the same channel uh, that is savarkar ias study circle so we are starting out uh, i hope you have solved this paper and then you are observing this video if not again i am telling you that kindly go through our channel that is savarkar ias study circle on youtube and uh, question paper is posted over there so first solve this question paper and then uh, find out the analysis of that question paper uh, as it is mentioned in the question paper that paper is of very primitive style okay it is not uh, expecting that you should give high class answers over there this is uh, said for those who are preparing for upsc civil services examination but they are at beginning level stage so uh, paper is almost all straight forward with little here and there tricks so we are going to solve this question number 1 odd man out so option a m that is newton option b j that is joule option c k that is kelvin and option d that is pa that is pascal by looking at these all units uh, we will find that newton is actually a derived unit this is unit of force so it is kilogram meter per second square joule that is unit of energy or unit of work done where it is kilogram uh, meter square per second square so in honor of joule we call it is a joule whereas k that is kelvin that is a primitive or that is we can say we can say fundamental unit because uh, we are converting out just degree celsius into kelvin so whatever number of degree celsius plus 273 we are getting reading of kelvin this is based on absolute temperature and in si system we are considering kelvin as a standard unit of temperature so here kelvin is a fundamental unit whereas pascal that is again unit of pressure that is uh, pressure is force per unit area so newton per meter square so it is again derived unit so by going at this analysis option c that should be considered as odd man because all other three a b and d they are derived unit whereas c is fundamental unit uh second question now many questions are of this type i am reading only once and then henceforth you are aware that you have solved question paper so consider the following statement or statements and choose the correct answer key so here two statements are given so we have to read as statements only and choose the correct answer key answer key a that is first true and second false answer key b that is first false and second true answer key c that is both true and answer key d that is both false so if mass of moon is doubled then energy required for its revolution around earth will be doubled now this statement is a false statement because you are aware that moon is uh, performing elliptical orbit along with earth that is the revolution motion of moon is elliptical along with earth practically it is not elliptical but spiral elliptical something com combination of all but uh, here for our level we are considering it is elliptical uh, that is near to circle only not that much difference is there little bit elongated little bit stretch circle whereas you are aware that uh, moon is revolving around earth because of centripetal force force acting towards center 
but its displacement is tangential that is uh, to the tangent side and therefore the angle between radius and tangent that is 90 degree and you are aware of uh, what is the energy that is capacity to perform work done what is work done w equal to fs cos theta that is force into displacement into cos theta now here theta is 90 so cos 90 uh, go through log table you will find that value of cos 90 is 0 and therefore energy required for moon to revolve around earth is supposed to be 0 irrespective of its mass so suppose we are launching out artificial satellite then also it is revolving around earth with no energy keep in mind then uh, solar panels are there that is to get function of that satellite for that purpose electricity is required but in order for the motion of that satellite no energy is required so uh, mass is less or doubled or tripled whatsoever the energy required is zero so first statement is obviously false second statement 10 decimeter is greater than one meter so you are aware deci that is sanskrit word is dasha so meter tenth part of meter is decimeter that means 10 decimeter means 1 meter so 10 decimeter equal to 1 meter so how it can be greater than 1 meter so both statements are false now you have to go through answer key that is uh, both false that is option D that is the correct answer here third question consider the following statements and choose the correct answer key same everything is there so I am not reading out uh, just we are going to read the statements uh, and uh, huh, one more important thing if you are not able to get this question paper then I am posting out this question paper in description part also description of this video on YouTube channel so uh, ethamoid uh, ethamoid is a cranial bone so if you are aware of cranial bone uh, cranium that means brain box so cranial bone there are total 8 cranial bones uh, you are aware I am just revising uh, it is frontal, occipital, sphenoid, ethamoid and uh, two temporal and two parietal. So two temporal and two parietal four and this is whatever list frontal, occipital, sphenoid and ethamoid. So totally eight bones are there so this is true that uh, ethamoid is a cranial bone option is true. In human skull total eight bones are present this option is false because skull it is consisting of cranium plus other sensory capsules then maxilla, mandible, uh, cheekbone that is zygomatic bone and like that second statement is also false. Uh, first is true and second is false. So uh, first is true and second is false that means option according to answer key given that is option A. Now next 3000 Kelvin equal to dash dash degree celsius you are aware that degree celsius to kelvin you have to add 273 so kelvin to degree celsius you have to subtract 273 so 3000 minus uh, 273 so that answer is uh, 2727 which is not given here and therefore none of these is the right answer but uh, how key is arranged so if you look at option A, it is 3273 uh, uh, degree Celsius. So this is something that you have to uh, confuse that whether we have to subtract or we have to add. Now fifth statement, uh, fifth uh, question, which statement is true about the sun? A, sun is the heaviest object in solar system. So with our present knowledge, sun is heaviest object in the solar system. So first option is only true, but let us check other. Sun is having less hydrogen than helium. Uh, so no, sun is having much more hydrogen than helium. Nearly 74% hydrogen is there on sun. Uh, sun is revolving around center of galaxy in 2.4 million years. So this option is wrong. Sun is revolving around center of galaxy is true, but time required for that is much more greater than whatever given here. So this statement is also false and sun is a part of Andromeda galaxy not yet because uh, Andromeda galaxy 
is approaching towards our galaxy that is milky way but it will take long time uh, for fusion of both the galaxies so right now sun is not part of andromeda galaxy and therefore uh, option a that is correct answer soft bone uh, sorry uh, question number 6 element where a equal to z that is atomic mass number equal to atomic number so such element is only one in the periodic table that is the primitive element that is hydrogen hydrogen is having one proton and one electron there is no neutron that means a equal to z is true about only hydrogen even not about the isotope of hydrogen that is deuterium or tritium so if and if only h11 is there then only we have to give that answer as correct but as in the list we are not having any such option so we have to go by option d that is none of these soft bone in human body is now here soft bone that is cartilage so vertebra is not a cartilage medulla oblongata is not at all bone it is part of brain uh, carpals it is also part of uh, skeletal system and therefore uh, none of these is the right answer if you want to check cartilage you can check here now consider the following statements and choose the correct answer key so same answer keys are there temporal bone is part of human skull yeah temporal bone just a previous question only we discussed when temporal bone is part of cranium and cranium is part of skull therefore it is part of skull frontal bone is part of cranium yeah we are discussing and so both statements are true that means answer is c now the uh, next question that is ninth question again same consider the following statements skull is part of appendicular skeletal system so not yet why i am saying not yet because evolution may take place afterward i don't know but we are aware that skull is part of axial skeletal system appendages means hands and legs and in case of monkeys and some animals tail so here whatever the appendages for a human being they are hand and uh, legs so skull is not part of appendages and therefore statement is false maximum two ball and socket joints are present in human body so no according to some book it is six and according to some book it is four there is debate but uh, because uh, hands are joining out that is two and legs are joining out that is two so like that four joints are there but uh, some people are considering this joint that is maxilla and mandible joint that is also ball and socket joint if you consider that then on answer is six so according to uh, central board the answer is six so here it is given as two that means far away from the expected answer so both statements are false and therefore answer is d consider the following statement same question 10 number lok sabha is having maximum 550 elected members answer is true that is the maximum capacity is explained it is not necessary that every every lok sabha should have 550 member but maximum capacity of lok sabha is 550 rajya sabha is a permanent house of parliament this statement is also true because after every 3 years uh, sorry after every 2 years one third member of rajya sabha are going to get retired and that many are filled up again and like that consistency of rajya sabha is maintained lok sabha can dissolve lok sabha can re elected at a time but rajya sabha is a senior house upper house and it is not dissolving so it is permanent house so both statements are true that means answer is c again consider the following statement 11 number members of rajya sabha are directly elected by citizens of india so this statement is false they are elected by citizens of india but indirectly okay so we are not going we means as long as a common man layman is not going to vote for member of rajya sabha okay and so this statement is false vice president of india is chairperson of rajya sabha yes so it is default vice president of india that is chairperson of rajya sabha statement is true and therefore first is false but second is true that means answer is b 
Again, twelfth question. Consider the following statements. President of the Constitution Committee was Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Uh, this statement is false. President of Constitution Committee was Dr. Rajendra Prasad, whereas uh, Constitution Committee was made up of several other committees. Some major committees were there. Some minor committees were. Out of that, one major committee is there that is called as Drafting Committee, and Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Uh, that is, uh, he was chairperson of drafting committee. Drafting means what? Whatever the members are telling, we have to write it, make draft of it. So that is the most important committee in the Constitution Committee, and Dr. Ambedkar was chairperson of that. It is mandatory that every state having greater than 200 MLA must have a legislative council. So. option is false it is not mandatory they may have but not mandatory and therefore this statement is false so as both statement are false we have to go by option d question number 13 total cervical vertebrae present in human body are and numbers are given 33 39 36 so keep in mind cervical vertebrae that is in neck region and what are the condition in case of giraffe or in case of man the number of cervical vertebrae are same that is 7 okay so here seven number is not given therefore answer is none of these that is d next question jewel is mks unit of force cgs unit of force fps unit of force and none of these now here we are aware that joule is a unit of energy or joule is unit of work done it is not a unit of force whereas here it is mentioned that unit of force 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 so answer is none of these d again don't get confused if so many answers are given in series that is d d d don't hesitate okay now a uh, 15th question arrange in ascending order many students are having yet doubt what is ascending order ascending order means what from low to high we have to go descending order means high to low so here ascending order that means low to high so uh, kilometer is the lowest unit then astronomical unit astronomical unit means what average distance between sun and earth that is we are considering as 15 crore kilometer so that is astronomical unit then Uh, astronomical unit is useful for measuring distances in the solar system uh, then light year that is distance traveled by light in one year you are aware velocity of light is 3 lakh approximate velocity is 3 lakh kilometers per second so what is the distance traveled by light in one year that is called as light year and lastly parsec so parsec is higher than light year and so option a is arrange accordingly only so ascending order answer is a question number 16 total false ribs present in human body are now here we have to get alert because you are aware that three pairs of false ribs are there whereas option a is given as three but read question carefully total false ribs they are not mentioning pairs of ribs and therefore three is not answer 3 to 6 so answer is 6 so that is option b 1 km so this is extremely simple question that is 1 km equal to 1000 m so nothing to worry about it but always keep in mind when such simple questions are placed then after that may be possible some difficult question may be there next question sa unit of volume each you are aware that volume is a derived unit so length into breadth into height but ultimately uh, it is unit of length only so meter into meter into meter so it will be meter cube it may be centimeter into centimeter into centimeter so centimeter cube it may be uh, what are given here decimeter so decimeter into decimeter into decimeter decimeter cube like that unit should be there but here it is mentioned only meter centimeter and decimeter so none of this is again right answer 
which of the following is the farthest planet from the sun in the given list given list is important because in the given list there is only one planet rest of all they are names of satellites and therefore answer a that is saturn is right answer which of the following planet rotated in east to west direction so always keep in mind venus and uranus in the solar system these two planet rotates east to west that is reverse of all other planets direction so here answer is uranus it is mentioned so venus and uranus then which of the our uh, 21th question the element that never found in the underground rocks of mongolia is now you may ask have you visited mongolia have you tested underground rocks in mongolia but it is nothing to do with mongolia go through the options you will write you will get to know that name of element which will be never in the uh, soil of mongolia because uh, potassium silicon and aluminum you are aware that mongolia is on earth surface only earth's upper crust is called as sea so silicon and aluminum must be present potassium you are aware that all green vegetables uh, that means green uh, whatever the plants are there they are having potassium ion and they are taking it from soil only so it is there in the soil of mongolia also so the biggest question is that about neptunium you are aware that uranium is naturally occurring last element atomic number 92 whereas neptunium is called as trans uranide element synthetic element or uh, element obtained after artificial transmutation so this is not a natural element so whether in mongolia or in arabia or in india anywhere naturally this element will not be there so answer is neptunium 22 bit critical question those who are from science team they can only give answer or those who are aware of how electronic configuration is going on uh, for that purpose on youtube channel savarkar i study circle you have video that is afbau principle uh, that video electronic configuration uh, afbau principle so then only you will come to know this answer uh, how many statements with respect to last electron of potassium ion are true okay so last electron of potassium ion here you should aware of electronic configuration so potassium atomic number 19 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 so 19 electrons we are accommodating like that so last electron is 4s1 so here we have now 4s1 as a last electron you are aware as it is 4s1 that means uh, n that is principal quantum number is 4 so statement number 1 that is n equal to 4 n is principal quantum number that is the 4 true value of l now in bracket we have mentioned small l because many times that l this is problem of roman script only that one and l appear as same so uh, value of l that is equal to p now here it is clearly mentioned last electron last electron's configuration is 4s1 as it is s it can't be p so second statement is false third value of m is 0 yes we are aware that value of m that is always value of uh, l that means azimuthal quantum number so as it is s azimuthal quantum number is having value 0 so values are minus l 0 and plus l so minus 0 0 and plus 0 but here minus 0 and plus 0 not discovered in mathematics so we are considering that this are zero and therefore value of m that is zero only so again third statement is true whereas fourth statement value of s that is spin quantum number is plus 1 and minus 1 now keep in mind spin quantum number is always having value as plus half or minus half so it is not plus 1 and minus 1 and therefore uh, fourth statement is again false so two statements are true and two are false and what is asked in question how many statements are true 
so here answer is obviously two statements are true and therefore uh, option b is correct answer now 23rd question how many statements are not true with respect to human anthropology so here not true is there uh, when you are solving question try to make habit of reading and underline most important point here so we have to, we want to answer now not true that means false statement so let us check out no fossils or bones of homo sapien sapien are found in maharashtra again keep in mind that modern man is categorized as homo sapien sapien i don't know how man can be considered as sap but they say sapien so uh, homo sapien means a man who can think and homo sapien sapien that who can think more so that is uh, no fossils or bone of homo sapien sapien are found in maharashtra so it is obviously false statement because in maharashtra uh, various people from various religion etc they are staying here you are aware in muslim community christian community then certain communities in maharashtra they are hindus uh, they are called as lingayat then certain tribal people they were uh, they are also doing funeral by uh, they are burying out uh, dead body so if that is buried then obviously skeleton is getting formed and they are modern man therefore we have to consider that as homo sapien sapien so first statement is false ramapithecus is found in sri lanka ramapithecus is right name but it is found in shivalik mountain range not sri lanka so this statement is also false human skeletons found in ivc that is indus valley civilization were not of homo erectus what is homo erectus a man who is able to uh, stand in erect posture that means if you observe the joint of pelvic girdle and uh, femoral bone then it should be from side then man can stand erect if that is at uh, extremely ventral position then obviously that uh, skeleton is not able to stand erect so little bit bend is required so you are aware of chimpanzee you can watch uh, on youtube also that how chimpanzee is walking how gorilla is walking how orangutan is walking you will find that these are the apes they are not able to stand in erect posture no doubt they can walk on bipedal mode that is on two legs but they are not able to stand erect and therefore here uh, in case of ivc ivc is of homo sapiens sapiens so homo sapiens sapiens is obviously homo erectus and so this statement is also false chimpanzee is considered as homo erectus ape ape is totally different and homo erectus is totally different so there is no connection of these two so this statement is also false so all four statements are not true hmm? so answer is d now again very simple question unit of energy that is joule and 25th question that is related with human being only and ordinary human being only not like rawon and therefore how many mandibles is or are present in homo sapien sapien so mandible is lower jaw bone so as we have one head and one lower jaw so answer is only one so this is the question paper uh, comparatively very very basic level but more consisting of tricky questions because those who are preparing for this type of competitive uh, competitive examinations they should aware that how to respond to the question how to read question carefully for that purpose the main intention of this paper is there thanks for observing this video